Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to discuss about global exception handling in .NET 6. Exception handling is one of the most critical areas in modern web application development. If exceptions are not handled properly, the whole app can be terminated, causing severe issues for users and developers. In this video, I will discuss different methods of global exception handling in .NET apps. So let's get started. So today's agenda is number one error handling with try catch blocks number two global exception handling with custom middleware so let's dig in do you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year do you want to become a software developer within just three months with our amazing course and awesome tutors you never have to worry about getting stuck we help students to learn skills that companies want to hire we are startup hack don't forget to subscribe our channel so let's get started all right, error handling with try catch block. Try catch blocks are widely used in apps to handle exception. They are most basic way of handling exception. To demonstrate this, I will be using an ASP.NET Core Web App API project based on .NET 6. Consider the following customer controller class as a code example. The code example is typical case where we use try catch to handle exception. Any exception throw by the code enclosed within the try block will be caught and handled by the catch block. The try catch method is ideal for no voice developers and it is something that every developer should aware of. However, this technique has a disadvantage when working with massive projects with complex architectures. Consider a scenario where you have many controllers and actions in your project and you need to utilize try catch for each action in the controllers. In some cases, Try catch must be used in the services as well. In such instances, it will be double the lines of code in your project, which is undesirable. If the solution architecture contains different layers, example data access, business logic, and presentation layer, you will have to map the, that exception in between layers when your code throws an exception, or else you may have more severe issues such as missing the exception where no one knows the error until the checking the log trace. Global exception handling is a handy approach for eliminating these drawbacks. In the next section, we will see how you can use custom middleware to handle exception globally in .NET 6. So moving towards global exception handling. Global exception handling with custom middleware grants the developer much broader authority and enhances the procedure. It's a block of code that can be added to the ESP.NET core pipeline as middleware and holds our custom error handling mechanism. This pipeline is capable of catching a wide range of exceptions. This approach aims to ensure your ASP.NET Core API produces consistent responses regardless of the type of request. It makes things simpler for anybody who uses your API to their, to their job. It also provides a better development experience. So create a separate folder named custom middlewares and add a class file named exception handling middleware.cs within it. Refer to the following example code. The code you are seeing is custom middleware that handle exception. We must first use dependency injection to register the iLogger and request delegate services. The next parameter request delegate type is a function that handles our HTTP request. In addition, after the middleware receives the request delegate, it either processes or passes it onto the next middleware in the chain. If the request fails, an exception may occur and handle an exception async method will be called to capture the exception as per its type. In such scenarios, use switch statements to determine the exception type and then utilize the appropriate status code for the exception. Also, we need to send the exception messages to the project's client side. Instead, use iLogger to log the exception message as an error and pass the custom message. We can then look through the logs and traces to find the exception message. Next, the custom middleware must be included in the program.cs file. Using the previous versions, you may add the custom middleware to the startup class configure method. Now remove the try catch block from the controller. You just have to throw the relevant exception in the controller instead of using try catch block. Global exception handling allows us to organize all exception handling logic in one place. 
Thus, we can improve the readability of the action method and the maintainability of the error handling process. This strategy can effectively help your app through more logical and understandable exceptions. Having global exception handling also eliminates the need to map each exception and map between the architectural rares. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you understand the concept of global exception handling. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. If you want to win free tuition, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com slash start that now and click here to win free tuition. Thank you.